Have you ever wondered about the fascinating dichotomy between the royal family's domestic life and their public image? It's a captivating conundrum that piques the interest of royal enthusiasts and casual observers alike. On one hand, you have the picture-perfect portrayal of Prince William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, a tableau of familial dedication and regal charm. But, on the other, there are whispers of palace intrigue, of the mundane realities veiled by the grandeur of royal life. Is Prince William truly the paragon of conjugal devotion as some suggest? Or does the narrative shift, hinting at a more hands-off approach, an illustrious man more accustomed to delegation than to domesticity? And where does the trusted nanny, Maria Theresa Turian Borallo, fit into this enchanting narrative? These questions form the backdrop of our exploration, a captivating tale of duty, devotion, and the discreet support that upholds the pageantry of the crown. Join us as we delve into the captivating tale of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. In the public eye, Prince William is often seen as a paragon of marital devotion. Ah, the concept is as enchanting as it is enticing. The Duke of Cambridge, a modern-day knight in shining armor, tending to his convalescent wife with the dedication of a hero in a chivalric tale. This image, carefully crafted and presented to us by a media ever hungry for the next captivating narrative, paints a picture of a man as attentive to his wife's needs as he is to the duties of his royal station. Grant Herald, an insider from the royal service, supports this narrative. He extols Prince William's virtues, emphasizing his caring nature and attentive demeanor. According to him, the Duke of Cambridge is not just a prince in title, but also in action. He is the embodiment of chivalry, a man who prioritizes his wife's well-being above all else, even amidst the demands of his royal responsibilities. Yet, this narrative is not without its dissenters. There are those who suggest that Prince William, despite his many virtues, may be less hands-on than the media portrays. They argue that the Duke, like many of his royal predecessors, is more accustomed to delegating tasks than to engaging in them directly. In this light, the image of Prince William as a doting husband may be less a reflection of reality and more a product of public relations. Even the role of Maria Theresa Turian Borallo, the family's trusted nanny, raises questions about the true nature of royal domesticity. Her prominent role in the family's life underscores the fact that the responsibilities of child-rearing and convalescence are often shared with a well-appointed staff. Richard Fitzwilliam's remarks further amplify this point, suggesting a pragmatic division of duty in which the demands of royal life are balanced by a reliance on skilled and dedicated professionals. Yet, as with all narratives, there is another side to this story, a side that reminds us that the monarchy operates not just on the strengths of its leading figures, but on the collective effort of those who serve it. It is a tale of duty, devotion, and the discreet support that upholds the pageantry of the crown. Behind the grandeur of palace walls, a different narrative unfolds. The royal life is not just about regal ceremonies or glittering galas. It also involves the seamless orchestration of domestic affairs, often handled by a well-appointed staff. Enter Maria Theresa Turian Borallo, the trusted nanny of the Cambridge family. Her role in the royal household underscores the notion that royal child-rearing and convalescence are not solely the province of parental toil but endeavors supported by a team of skilled and devoted professionals. Observers like Richard Fitzwilliams further paint this picture, suggesting a pragmatic division of duty, where the exigencies of royal life are balanced by a reliance on these professionals. The Duke and Duchess, like any couple, navigate personal and public spheres, but with the added complexity of an institution resting on their shoulders. Thus, the royal household operates as a finely tuned machine, balancing duty, devotion, and discreet support. In the end, the royal family's narrative is one of duty, devotion, and support. It's a dance of dedication, where each step is as crucial as the next. The Duke of Cambridge, Prince William, is not just a figurehead, but a caring husband, balancing his royal obligations with his commitment to his convalescent wife, Kate. Yet, this is not a solo performance. The supporting cast comes into play, with figures like Maria Theresa Turian Borallo, the family's trusted nanny, taking center stage. Royal child-rearing and convalescence are not solitary endeavors. 
their shared responsibilities, handled by a team of skilled and devoted professionals. The monarchy, like any institution, thrives on the collective efforts of those who serve it. It's a pragmatic division of duty, where the exigencies of royal life are balanced with the need for personal care and attention. And so, the tale of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge continues, a fascinating blend of duty, devotion, and the discreet support that upholds the pageantry of the crown. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, the Sussex's Archul manager resigns, what's next? Did you know that channel members can get an exclusive video every week? That's on top of custom emojis, loyalty badges, and an extra quiz question every day. Sign up link is in this video's description.